So welcome, everybody. Welcome. Today is November the 11th, 2021. So 11, 11, 2021. This is November Gateway Celebrations. Um, so I'm just going to start by giving a little bit of background about the, 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 the next couple of years so, or even the, uh, the, the since 2020, let's, let's say the next couple of years. So including this year and then next year, all the way for the next couple of years. So the theme for the next few years is really for letting go of the inverted matrix or the false matrix. We are, um, we are splitting. Uh, there are people who really wanted to, for whatever reason, they so wanted to um, experience more of um, third dimension and just to learn more, um, to, to have more experiences. So that is their soul choice. And then there are some of us who wanted to move on and, and really experience something completely different which is the the fifth dimension we call it the the fifth dimension so and we have elected uh, collectively to do that shift in the way that we've been doing it so we're going to do it the, the, the split very slowly so the last um year or two we we kind of if you really observe, like really stand back and observe is that the people, um, people that are aware of what's going on and people that are not aware of what's going on, it's really the, the it's dividing more and more. Dividing not meaning that, you know, um, there's animosity, even though there may be some of that, but that the, the way we think the way we process information is completely different. So those who are um, who on a soul level does not is not ready for whatever reason to go into fifth dimension. They how they think is we can see it. It's it's like you know all the, all the truth is it's in front of them. There are lots of um, um, I would say there's a lot of disclosure if you look and the um and there is i would say a part of the the population that, that just no matter what you put in front of them they just don't want to see it cannot see it and they just um that's how they think they they how they're thinking is so that's what i mean by the um the dividing it's not dividing in the in the sense that you know one is right or one is wrong it's just that it's a very different way of living in the world so and for people who on a soul level have committed to move on to the fifth dimension or have experience from um that is more aligning with the fifth dimension, then that's what we are doing, um, is that we are starting to let go of the inverted matrix, the, the, the false self or the, 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 the sense of self that we have created for ourselves in order to play in the inverted matrix so that's a part of us that we are let we are letting go of and as we let go we also integrating and upgrading ourselves to be able to play in the fifth dimension and it's a process it's not something that let's say january 1st 2022 or even january in first 20 um let's say 25 there is no particular dividing line it is it is really um it takes as long as it takes and we and only our soul knows how we're going to do that and 
some people, some some of us, there there will always be some people that are kind of the 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 leading edge. So they would be the ones that have done a lot of the work, and they are really much more have much more integrated themselves um, into the the fifth dimension kind of experience. And then there will be others who for whatever reason likes to take the scenic route so they'll be a little slower um but all is good so and what else would i like to so that that really is what we are um we have to look forward to i like if you look out in the world today um if you ask any regular human being no matter how awake they may be um if you just look at the world today you may not be able to see evidence of fifth dimension gradually dawning however this is what energetically and and what collectively and what on the soul level we are committed to do and how are we going to do that one day at a time so all of 2021 the the major theme of all of 2021 is really seeing what the false matrix or the inverted matrix what it is about is really seeing the the what all of that seeing the old system for what it is that's really what 2021 is about is it's about discovering the truth and then 2022 it's about finding solutions it's about exploring different um ways of doing our own lives or redoing our own lives and so there will be a lot of trial and error in the year coming and so that's that's why at the in, in November this right now this November gateway is so um, powerful is that all this energy is really helping us to wrap up 2021 Re really um, the energy is pushing us to be able to see and really recognize the parts of us within ourselves that is still a product of the force matrix of the inverted matrix when we see it within ourselves then we can start to um, find ways to shift out of that so that is what the energy is assisting us to do and it's also giving us so much more assistance in allowing us to explore what is how do we find the solutions um giving us that push to find new ways of being new ways of um thinking that is beyond our old way of thinking so it's going to be exciting in in 2022 um and i think um according to sifu james december 4th he's he he has this particular date that which um i'm not sure i i'm not sure whether it's um, specifically on december 4th the energy may be starting to come down on december 4th however um when it would be for each of us to start to be able to take advantage of that that energy that really is it's up to um each one individually so what the what sifu james mentioned about december 4th energy is that um whatever it is that is within you starting on that day um then and also going forward whatever it is that is within you is going to be magnified it's going to be um 
boost, it's a booster energy. So if you're happy, you would be 50 times, 500 times happier as time goes on. And if you are unhappy, if you are fearful, if things are not going well, then, and, and you haven't quite um, come to peace with, with whatever is not working in your life yet, then, then um, all of that issues will start to multiply as well, 50 times, 500 times. So, which means that we have, um, we have this month and um, in order to really do the, the good work of letting go, letting go of how we judge ourselves, how we judge where we are in life, how we see ourselves, how we see the world as well, because how we see ourselves is really how we see the world as well. If you judge yourself, if you are really harsh on yourself, then chances are you probably will judge the world very harshly as well. So some of the, um, a few ways that you can really start to assist yourself in letting go of the, the false matrix, the inverted matrix is really ask yourself um, these two questions. Do you love yourself? And do you accept yourself? And if your answer is not yes, then whatever reasons or excuse that you have, those are the things that you need to look at because you have to look at whether it is something that is because of the inverted matrix or is it because um, of other beliefs? Because we are not perfect, nobody is, and we are not here to be perfect. So if you only love yourself because you're perfect, you have the perfect life or you have the perfect figure or perfect whatever, then that's, that's really um, a, that the value system is really rooted in the false matrix. So, and if you don't accept yourself because of whatever reason, then you need to look at those reasons as well, because those are all of our um, force matrix training that has really trained us to be separated from ourselves. So um, love yourself, accept yourself. And if you can do that, wonderful. The next, question, next two questions to ask yourself is, do you love others as yourself? And do you accept others as yourself? Even the people who um, are completely opposite to you who don't agree with you do you accept them you don't have to need someone else to agree with you in order to accept them you simply accept that they have a different way of thinking and and so the old idea that you know we have to only love the the certain there's there's a requirement of and when other people reach and, and can um, live up to those requirements, then we love them. So that's really the, the inverted matrix kind of very limited definition of love and acceptance. So those are the ways, those are, these are the, the four questions that I, I put forward that would really, if you ask yourself and really observe what comes up for you. Those are the things that is going to um, assist you in processing in order to really let go more of the, the inverted matrix part that is within you, that's still um, within you, that you, if you should choose to, is to start to dissolve those so that's all I really have to say. Um, and for the rest of this 
time that we have together, I would like to um, focus on two things, is to focus on love, focus on loving yourself and loving and being able to see others as a part of you and extend that love to them as well. Love is not really the you know mushy, gushy kind of love. It is really wishing other people the best kind of love. And, and so when we can hold ourselves in love without any judgment and also see other people as an extension of ourselves and um, being able to give them the benefit of the doubt as well then it will start to really assist us in integrating the fifth dimension within ourselves. The meditation that I, I'll be doing shortly is, is really to, it's a meditation to walk into our own light because each of us, each and every one of us is, it's really light. And whatever we are here to do on this, on this journey is really to refine and remember the light that is within ourselves. Light has a lot of things in it. There is, there is unconditional acceptance and love within light and there is knowledge there's wisdom within light as well we have blocked off so much of those the our own divine light and with all this energy coming in is really opening the doorway for us to start to step into our own light so I'm just going to stop the recording here and then restart it again so that you can have a recording of just of the meditation itself.